Hello my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today and today I'll be sharing with you my baby favorites. It's a video that I've been meaning to do ever since Alexa was born. She's almost 11 weeks, actually she's gonna be 11 weeks, what's today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow she's gonna be 11 weeks and finally I have some free time to film this video. I just want to mention before I go into all the details and sharing with you all my favorites, this is not a sponsored video. You guys know I don't do sponsored videos. I've been on YouTube for what, is it almost 7 years now? It's crazy. I've been on YouTube for almost seven years. I haven't done one sponsored video since I've been on YouTube. I just want to put it out there because a lot of you guys are new to my channel and you might not know my philosophy about sponsored videos. For me, YouTube is more like a hobby. It's something I do to share my personal, real, authentic opinion about all these products or just anytime I do favorites or anytime I mention anything anywhere. Having said that, I just want to say though, if Stella McCartney or Whole Foods <laughs> talks to me tomorrow and wants me to work with them, I would work with them. Well, there's not a lot of brands out there that I like that I would work with, and the ones that I do like is just only like a few, again, like Stella McCartney, Whole Foods, and a few other brands out there. Anyways, just wanted to put it out there before I go into telling you about all my favorites because I want you guys to know that these are actual favorites of mine. These are products Alex and I have been using from day one of Alex's birth, and I love all of them. I did a lot of research on finding all these products, and that's why I wanted to share them with you because if you're expecting a baby or if you know somebody who's expecting a baby, this can save you a lot of time. Because like I said, it took me days and weeks to gather all these simple things, but yeah, they make your life a lot easier when you have a baby. And I thought I would be a minimalist and I would like to say I am a minimalist, but now looking around at my bed, there is a lot of stuff lying on there. So I'm just gonna get into it because there's lots to cover. Before um, I get into the actual products that we use on Alexa, I want to mention some books that I really enjoy reading before we had Alexa and now while you know she's growing and changing I will just briefly mention all these books because again if I go into detail it's gonna be a whole book review and then this video will be an hour long it might actually be an hour long anyways but um, some of my favorites I'll quickly tell you to read them if you're expecting a baby probably my most favorite was bringing up Bebe by uh, what's her name Druckerman Pamela oh, well I have another book of hers here um, this one is Bebe Day by Day, but I do recommend bringing up Bebe. I don't have a physical copy because I actually listen to the book and I recommend listening to the book. Whoever reads the book is brilliant. It's such a funny read, but it covers a lot of basics that you need to know about bringing up a Bebe. <laughs> and I definitely recommend this book. Layla recommended it to me. She said she really enjoyed it. It's very easy read or listen. And I truly believe that the reason Alexa sleeps so well through the night is because of the tips we read in that book and I'll just quickly share with you uh, one of the tips is sort of having a pause so whenever baby's sleeping a baby makes a lot of noise and sound and sometimes babies even cry in their sleep like Alexa actually cries a lot in her sleep when she gets gassy and if you're a first-time parent you might not know this and whenever baby cries you'll want to help naturally you'll care about your baby you'll pick them up but you'll actually wake them up so what she says in the book um, is something that she did a lot of research on is whenever you see a baby's crying in the sleep you give them a few minutes just to see if they can uh, settle back into the sleep and self-soothe and we've been doing this from day one and Alexa has been great sleeper at night you know she'll go through long chunks of time of sleeping like five six seven sometimes even eight hours and same during her naps if she ever cries we give her a pause so we don't like rush into picking her up or like comforting her we just like observe her it doesn't mean you ignore the baby you're still there but you're not touching them you just like observing the situation before you react to the situation so that's just one of the most valuable things I've learned from the book there's lots of other great tips on how to bring your baby up without you know the baby becoming just the most important focus of your life the baby is important but it's also important to balance your life to be healthy if you're empty you won't be able to give to your baby so the book covers all these really really important topics and I definitely recommend reading it if you're expecting a baby so that's bringing up baby then another book that I've been really enjoying now that Alex is growing and changing and this one is called the wonder weeks obviously I haven't read the whole thing because you're only supposed to read about the weeks that your baby is going through for example Alexa is gonna be 12 weeks 
couple weeks next week and every time they hit these uh, wonder weeks they go through different milestones and they grow and their world expands and they can do all these new things like see their hands and then they have more mobility later in her life she's gonna start speaking so when they the baby has wonder weeks a lot of times the baby can get a little fussy if you don't know that the baby is having wonder week you might be thinking something's wrong with my baby why out of a sudden the baby's sleeping less or becoming more fussy or crying more and you might think it's your fault you're doing something wrong but in fact when you read in this book it's completely normal that during the wonder weeks because it's just so much overwhelm happening to your baby like imagine you wake up and your whole world has changed that's what happens to babies as they go through these milestones and wonder weeks as they're learning new skills and seeing the world in a completely different way it's very important as a parent to stay um, stable and to stay grounded because we are the parents to the child are the only thing that doesn't change throughout all this changing growth especially in the first year of baby's life so I found this extremely helpful I've only just started reading it recently and I've been reading it about the 12 weeks because Alexa is almost 12 weeks and it's really exciting to also see all kinds of exercises you can do with the babies and yeah just to know what what's going on in their brain and how they're progressing so I would definitely recommend this book as well for anyone who is pregnant I would also recommend orgasmic birth it's a book that I read before I had Alexa and I think it's really great to educate yourself on the industry of um, birth and how the hospitals deal with it your options all kinds of really valuable interesting information on you know getting pregnant carrying the baby and then giving birth in a hospital at home whatever it is that you decide to do and how to have a more of a pleasant orgasmic enjoyable experience uh, one can try as you guys know my situation wasn't exactly orgasmic but I did my best and I still think that the book was a very valuable resource for me to learn more about the industry and to just learn more about the birthing because I think it's very important to know what you're getting yourself into as you get pregnant maybe even before you get pregnant you just know and when you know it's just easier to live and make decisions especially when things happen that you don't expect or plan for so yeah that's all the books I would recommend I, I oh one more book actually Alex is giving me a cue two, two more books okay Good sleeper I, I think that's been a game changer yeah okay so I'll mention quickly two more books that I wouldn't say were revolutionary but are still great resources that I would recommend one is baby whisperer again this is a book that Layla recommended to me I featured it on my insta story once and there's a few people that didn't like the book i would say that whenever i read a book or whenever i watch somebody's youtube videos or whenever I, i'm exposed to some information i don't need to love everything to love it or learn something from it so just like with baby whisperer i don't agree with everything that she said in the book but i truly believe there's so many useful tips and tricks and ideas that she gave in that book so i definitely still recommend reading it don't follow anything to a t obviously you're the parent listen to your heart make the right decisions and go with the flow I think it's very important not to read any book and try to do everything perfectly as the book says because nobody knows your baby as you know your baby yourself so I think the most important thing in the baby whisperer was having sort of a schedule and having a routine again not being too anal about that routine but creating with time as baby grows having some kind of a routine so you can have time for the baby so you can have time for yourself so you're energetic so you can give more to the baby and there's a lot of other great things that you can do to have a really nice respectful relationship with your child so I definitely re recommend reading Baby Whisperer and then another book that Alex just mentioned to me that was a game changer I think a good, it made, it a good sleeper but we still haven't read it but I think what I would say yeah in a way it has been a bit revolutionary the good sleeper we haven't finished reading it because it, again it goes by like time so like your baby is let's say three to six weeks or whatever six to twelve weeks what we got from reading this book which is called Good Sleeper is that sleep is so important it's almost as important as feeding so feeding is 50% but sleep is another 50% because when babies sleep um, the growth hormone is released in their brain and they're growing so if they're not sleeping enough they're overtired if they're overtired they're fussy if they're fussy you're annoyed you're miserable and then this whole cycle of unhappy parents and kids keep happening all right now we're gonna move on to the physical topics I can't believe I talked so much about that but again I'm just gonna try to go through it really really fast I will talk 
talk about um, the mobility stuff first or like places where Alexa sleeps or naps. So I will talk about her stroller first because it's something I didn't even think I would get in the first place. It's something that Alex had to convince me. I honestly thought we could get by without a stroller. I can be a bit idealistic sometimes, but we did in the first few weeks. Alex especially would carry Alexa all the time, but Alexa is a big baby. She's like at the top 10% of the tallest babies. And I find that because she's also a winter fall baby, if we put her in like warm clothes and then like we squish her in the carrier, she's just very, very uncomfortable. So we stopped doing that. We decided to just get a stroller. Well, I want to say the first place why I didn't like the idea of a stroller. Most of the strollers in my mindset from what I've seen and observed friends and family use are big and bulky and just uncomfortable. And I just thought I'm never going to be able to go anywhere or like pick this thing up, especially if I'm alone. But Alex found this really amazing stroller, which is tiny, literally it folds into like this little thing that you can actually put up in one of those compartments on the plane. So whenever we're traveling now, we can actually even take the stroller with us on the plane. It's really awesome. It goes up to six months. It's got one sort of seating where the baby lies flat. And then after six months, it's going to be a different one where baby's more in an upright position. I've been loving this, what is it called? Yo-Yo Zen, baby yeah. Zen Yo-Yo stroller. Anyways, by the way, guys, I'm going to link everything I can find down below, all the books, all the products that I'll be mentioning. So the stroller is pretty awesome. Definitely recommend it. It's a game changer, super light, super easy to walk with it, even for me. And it's easy to pick up. Like sometimes she's sleeping and I'll just pick up the stroller and walk up the stairs if I need to go up into a building or whatever. So if I can pick it up, then anybody can pick it up because I wouldn't say I'm like super strong. Um, so that's that. Um, in terms of bed, we have, I actually can't remember the name, but I'm going to look up the brand. Do you remember Alex? I'll have to look it up. I was looking, I was on Pinterest before Alexa was born, looking for a simple minimalistic design because I just wanted everything to sort of work Work together Alexa's bed cot I guess that's what they call them crib is in our bedroom we are grateful that we have a big enough bedroom to fit her here as well I think for the first year of the baby it's really if especially if you're breastfeeding it's very convenient to have the baby in the same room if you don't have a tiny room um, if you have a tiny room it might sleep might get a little difficult again because babies make a lot of noise when they're sleeping but because we have a bigger room she's just there in the corner in her own crib and it works great for both of us for all of us the three of us and yeah the bed I found on Pinterest and I absolutely fell in love with it it's beautiful white minimalistic it's got that modern sleek design it's also made out of um, what is it called FCS if it's an FSC so basically the the trees come from managed forests that they grow these forests specifically for making furniture so that is very important for me as well so I love the bed I'm gonna show you guys what the bed looks like it's beautiful and that's her crib I know a lot of you guys, whenever we post a picture of Alex wearing Alexa, ask A, why did Alex wear Alexa and not you? At that time, I was breastfeeding Alexa like literally 12 hours a day and I needed a break from her. Like, she's heavy, guys. She's big. So whenever I wasn't breastfeeding, Alex would wear her or like walk with her or we would walk all together. And yeah, Solid Baby Wrap are absolutely great for that. I found that they worked really well when she was a newborn. I haven't tried wearing her recently again, like I explained, because she's heavy and it's winter so we bulk her up with a lot of clothes and layers and I'm not really sure how it's gonna work with wraps like this. Also another reason I didn't like wearing her in this in the first few months of her life because you wrap them differently uh, from zero to three months and then three to six or whatever you wrap them differently because then they can hold their head. I'm so excited she can now hold her head. I'll probably wait a few more weeks maybe another week or so because now I can wear her in a different position where her legs are sort of out and she holds her head herself it might be easier now because she won't be like fully squished inside of this thing but again just saying these have been really great addition to wearing Alexa and I think it's great to wear your babies because they feel so close and snugly next to you if the weather permits if it's not too hot or too cold um, then I would definitely recommend Solly baby wraps it took me a while to find a baby rocking chair that was made with quality and would look beautiful in our living space and I finally did it was by the brand Bloom and it's called Coco White Chair or something
something like that. Again, I'm gonna link everything down below. It's beautiful. You have to sort of rock it yourself. So you can do it with your hand or your leg or the baby as it gets bigger, as it's moving in the chair, it rocks itself. But it's got such beautiful minimalistic design. Um, Alexa has been using it from day one. Now she tries to like sort of pull herself up in the chair. So we're gonna actually have to strap her. It's got like little straps that you can strap the baby in to keep her safe inside. So we only now have to do that. But in the first few months, she was just like happily sitting there for a few minutes here and there. You're not supposed to keep them there for too long, but it would give me a break, you know, or sometimes if I was doing my hair or doing my makeup, I would put her in that chair and let her watch me as I would be doing all these things. So such a beautiful chair. I definitely, definitely recommend it. For washing Alexa, again, it took me a long time to find a minimalistic bathtub. I wouldn't call this a bathtub, but something that wouldn't go in a bathtub because I heard it's very uncomfortable to like go on your knees, to wash the baby in the tub when they're that small. So I found this, I think again on Pinterest, which was great. It was on somebody's inspiration board. So this is called a pooch tub and you put this in your sink. It fits, I think, in most sinks. We don't have a big sink. This is how it works. Like this is one piece. It's made out of really soft things, so you don't need to put anything inside of this little tub thingy. And then you can hang it on the door, you can hide it under a bed, you can do whatever. So it doesn't take any space. I really love that it's minimalistic because we want to have less stuff in our house. We like it that way, more air to breathe. <laughs> and then it folds into this thing and then you sit the baby in. And with this kind of design, you can actually use this for, they say, up to a year of baby's life. Again, with Alexa, she's super tall for her age. So unfortunately, I think we'll have a few more weeks of this little tub thing left. And then we're gonna have to look for a different solution. If you guys have any recommendation for something that's simple and minimalistic, please leave me a comment down below. So yeah, definitely love this product. Now I'm gonna move on to some other beauty related um, or like sanitary products. One of the most important things that I did a lot of research on and was in the end not really happy with what I found was diapers. I was contemplating whether I should use cloth diapers versus regular, not regular diapers, but like more organic natural diapers. And in the end, through all my research, I did not find anything that was fully biodegradable. And with cloth diapers, it would just take so much time. You have to use again, hot water to wash them. It's just a big commitment to do it. I admire anybody who can actually do the cloth diapers. But again, I wouldn't say it's fully eco-friendly either because you're using a lot of hot water to wash the cloth diapers. Through all my research, the best option I have found is um, Natty diapers and this is I believe uh, they're from Denmark Sweden this is a Swedish brand they have many awards for having one of the cleanest diapers out there um, they don't have any plastic so these don't take as long to biodegrade these are free of fragrance free of all nasty chemicals because guys if you look at normal diapers just look at the ingredients there's a lot of nasty crap they put in those diapers same with menstrual pads by the way if you don't use organic ones I personally use organic ones when I need them it's just really important to be aware of it. I know that the conventional diapers probably work better. I haven't used any actually since Alexa was born. These work really well. She's almost three months as you guys know. I mean we had a few explosions but I think explosions happen even with regular diapers. This has been great. Uh, again the brand is called Natty and these are the most sustainable diapers I was able to find. If you guys have any recommendations I would absolutely love to hear from you so leave me a comment down below. Again I was looking for something that wouldn't have too much of impact on the environment. Okay, on that note of diapers and poop and pee and all that stuff, um, these are the wipes that Layla, my sister Layla, recommended me. Um, they're just water wipes. So basically all that is in these wipes is fruit extract and water. And these have worked great. We've been using it from day one. So I'm just gonna mention that. Um, just gonna quickly go through everything else. Every time we change Alexa's diapers, we also put a little bit of coconut oil on the area, like her little bum and everything else you know, the surrounding area, just to make sure that it's all nice and moisturized. Another thing that I would definitely recommend is another um, sort of a baby rash cream. This is by Earth Mama Angel Baby, and it's called Angel Baby 
bottom balm. This whole thing lasted for three months and there's actually still a lot inside. We're probably gonna be able to use it for the next month or so. So really great product. You can use this for like four or five months, such a tiny little thing. And whenever Alex did have a few first signs of getting a little bit of a rash, we put this on and it literally disappears within a day. So I definitely recommend this product. It's all natural, has really great ingredients, aloe, um, olive oil, shea butter, all kinds of amazing things. Um, so definitely recommend that. To wash Alex, Alexa, we use um, Dr. Bronner's, I think this is a baby one, right? Eight in one hemp baby unscented. And I don't know if you can tell, the actual product is used quite a lot because I like it so much. I like the fact that it's unscented and it's more mild than the regular Dr. Bronner's soap that I personally started using it as well. And I think Alex has too. So as you can see, Alex didn't use all of that. But I literally use just a few drops to massage into her hair and wash her hair. And then a few more drops into the um, water of the top. Babies don't really need a lot of detergent or soap or anything like that. This is very mild, super natural ingredients, not tested on animals. So really great for your baby. Um, I've really been loving to use it on myself, like I said as well. That's the only product we use on Alexa when we wash her. Now, a lifesaver product that I thought out of everything in this video, this is probably the most important thing I'm gonna mention and you guys are gonna laugh because, oops. Yeah, you guys are gonna laugh. But after a few weeks of Alexa's life, I was feeding her once and I realized that she's having a hard time breathing. And I noticed it from day one, like a lot of babies are stuffy because obviously they come from the womb where they live in the water into this world where they have to breathe fresh air. And I was told that it's normal for them to be stuffy. But I think by week three or four, she was having a really hard time breathing. Like I could hear her nose was stuffed with like, um, like boogers. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know what I mean. It was stuffed and I couldn't get it out because her nose is so tiny I can't get my finger in there if I put a q-tip it just like shoves everything back in there So Layla my sister Layla Layla has been amazing uh -huh. <laughs> with all the recommendations she recommended to get this thing called um, Nose Frida by the brand. Yeah, I think that's the brand. It's called Nose Frida So anyone who doesn't have a baby will not understand the pleasure of taking um, Boogers out of your baby's nose because it feels so good when she can can breathe. How it works is you, this is another product I would recommend. This is by the brand Sterimar and this is, I'm just gonna spray it so you guys see. Basically what this is, is just like um, seawater. There's only one ingredient. So you spray this into your baby's nose, one and two, let it sit there for like just a little bit. And then once everything softens in there, you take this thing and basically you put this tip into the baby's nose and then you suck the boogers out. Now, before you get <laughs> the mental picture, the boogers are not gonna go into your mouth because there's a filter here and it all works really, really nice. Having said that, if you don't like the idea of uh, sucking boogers out of your baby's nose, which I don't mind, but actually I'm not that great at. We got another thing, Alex researched and found this again on Amazon. This is by the brand Little Martin's Drawer. And this one is basically the same thing, but it does it automatically. I think there's a battery inside, right? So there's a battery inside, you stuff this in your baby's nose and then it like literally sucks it out and it works just as well although I find that this is faster easier lighter you know if you're going out you want to take this with you if you're traveling and yeah total life savers guys you have to have this if you have a baby all right, now I'm gonna move on to show you some clothes. And again, Alexa has, I wouldn't say quite a bit of clothes, but she has enough clothes, but I'm not gonna go through everything. I'll just sort of highlight my favorites and then other favorites that I don't mention in the video will be linked in the info box. So to show you some blankets, that we got from day one and this is by my favorite brand if you're having a newborn make sure to check this brand they are from barcelona everything is made out of organic cotton and really beautiful stuff so these blankets i have two here we actually have four but i couldn't find the other two i think they're in the wash they have been great from day one because in the beginning we used to swaddle alexa so we used to use these to swaddle her in she didn't like swaddling so much so we stopped doing that after day two or three and she actually started sleeping better but we still use 
use this blanket to cover her when I breastfeed her or would put this on the couch and then lay Alexa on top of these. So we've been literally using them all the time. I really like that some of them have double designs. So this way it's like pink and white and this way it's white and pink. And then I have another one here. So really great for like multi-use. And like I said, it's made out of organic cotton. A few other things I got from that brand that I really loved that was so useful. When you have a newborn baby, I think what's important is just to do things fast so the baby doesn't start fussing. And one of the best things is to wear a onesie. I mean, it's nice to have really cute little outfits, but day to day or especially at night, you just wanna do things fast, like open the thing, change the diaper, put the baby on the boob or give the baby a bottle, whatever it is that you're doing. But you don't wanna fuss around with too many pants and things and zippers and buttons. So onesies were great. This was one of our favorites. Now holding this in my hand, I can't believe she was so tiny. She's so much bigger now, it's crazy. She was so small. So this was my favorite thing that she wore. Like she literally wore this like 100 times probably. And again, like it's just got like snap on. Um, I'll just open this up for you guys so you guys can see. So basically the whole thing on snaps, then you can quickly change the diaper and then basically snap this back and the top stays the same. So very convenient. Again, made out of organic cotton, very cute. Some other things that we got for her for her age now. Again, little tops, very easy to change. That's what I like. It just snaps on and unsnaps. And then they have this really cute little pants. What are these called in English? I have no idea. In Russian, they're called polzunki. Sort of like leggings, but with a piece of the like little feet as well. Again, these are great because you don't have to wear socks. If you're changing the baby, you just pull this off and then pull this back on. If the baby's crying and hungry, this makes your life a lot easier. So absolutely love the little outfits they have and they're all really great quality, very soft on the baby's skin. I always knew that I wanted to get some kind of really cute bibs for Alexa because most of the bibs that I've seen out there are just like, uh, I don't know, not my style. So I found this brand through my friend Masha. Um, check out Masha's Instagram, by the way. She has the cutest baby and the cutest pictures. She's the cutest too. I'll link it down below. So Masha told me about her friend who makes these. Um, she lives in the States and she, this is her business. She makes these beautiful bibs for babies. I want one. <laughs> Sometimes I need it actually. I get quite messy when I'm eating a pomegranate. So these are absolutely beautiful. Even though Alexa actually didn't have a lot of spit up, we barely use these. I would say once in a while we use them, but we don't use them a lot. Probably we'll need them as she gets older and starts drooling when she starts teething. But these are so cute guys. Check them out. I'll show you the other two. Aren't these the cutest? <sighs> so yeah, I gonna link it down below. The brand is called Arrow and the Muse and they're handmade. For accessories and hair bows, again, another uh, brand I found on Instagram. It's called Kate and Kids. And again, these are great handmade, beautiful little bows for baby's hair. This little elastic is very soft, so it goes on the baby's head and I'm assuming they can't really feel much. Although we don't really get her to wear these bows for long periods of time because like she doesn't really need to wear bows in her hair. I think she's just too small and you know, if there's a chance she would be uncomfortable, I would rather not take it. So sometimes I'll put it on her, take a picture, you know, let her stay in it for like half an hour, an hour, and then I just take it off. Um, and again, there's more with like little flowers. They're quite stretchy, so I'm assuming it will go up to a year or even more. So I'm looking forward to wearing them more often when she's bigger. All right, again, this is one of the life-saving products that I absolutely love. I think Alex found this, where was it, on Amazon or this other website? Okay, I'll link it down below, but this, was but this is a sleeping bag. It's made out of wool, so it's cool in the summer, warm in the winter. You wear it sort of like a dress and baby wears clothes underneath or like little pajamas. And yeah, absolutely been loving this. We basically wear this every day because Alexa moves a lot in her sleep and having a blanket there at night would not be safe at all because it can end up on her face and then don't want to think about that stuff. So <laughs> you want something that's safe for the baby to sleep in and this has been the best we have found. All right, just a few more other cute little things I wanted to show you guys. I kept the box, as you can see, it got squished, but it was so pretty that I wanted to keep it to show you guys. I found this beautiful store. Um, this woman makes, the, she basically knits these baby outfits. This is great for newborns if you wanna do a photo shoot for your newborn. So yeah, it comes in this cute box or just to wear the stuff. So she like knits little hats like this one. Guys, check this out. 
This was like a little dress Alexa wore. The problem with Alexa, well, it's not a problem. She's just like so big that all this newborn stuff she grew out of within like a couple of weeks. Um, here's another cute little hat. And then another hat with bunny ears. So yeah, this woman I think is from Latvia and she basically makes this, all of this by hand. And I really love the, the feel of these products and they're so beautiful and very photogenic if you want to do like a newborn photo shoot or if you want to just your baby to wear this stuff. There's another one here. This is sort of um, like a little romper and it's got little buttons. They're like hard buttons. So cute. It's so tiny. Oh, too sad she cannot fit in any of the stuff anymore. <laughs> getting all emotional look at this how small is this i can't like was she really this small this is another one of those um little rompers and it's like little ruffles on the bottom so yeah um the the store is called boutique marzipan and um, i believe she only sells it through etsy so again i'm gonna link everything down below check her out all right, and just a couple other things I'm gonna mention before I finish this video. This has been a really long video. H&M has really great organic cotton options. Again, when I was looking for organic cotton options for Alexa, H&M was one of the best options I was able to find. A, it's affordable. B, it's organic cotton, like I was looking for. And C, their design is actually quite good, minimalistic and beautiful. So again, these cute little pants, so you don't have to wear socks, are so useful. Um, I also use this as underlayer because it's cold sometimes. So we have different ones. We have gray and we have another color. Which other color? I can't remember. Anyways, we have like six of these at home and they're so, so useful, guys. I end up just using these instead of regular pants because we don't have to get her to wear socks. And then um, a couple other things that we invested in that <laughs> were a bit expensive, but honestly have been lifesavers as well because like I said, Alexa is a winter baby. It's quite chilly outside. She really enjoys sleeping outside. We try to put her for naps in the house and she usually doesn't sleep much. Like she'll maybe sleep for 45 minutes or an hour if she's sleeping at home. But when we go out with her in a stroller, she really, I guess, likes the motion of the stroller. Maybe because when I was pregnant, I was so active. I biked a lot, danced a lot, as you guys know. Maybe she's just used to that during the daytime. She can sleep like literally three, four, five hours during the day. Like that's how long her naps can be sometimes. So we need her to be warm and comfortable outside. And for that reason, we found this little, again, rompers or like onesies, I guess that's what these are called, are the best for small babies because it's just easy when you need to change them. These have been really great. So warm. Um, they're made out of cashmere, so they're quite expensive investment, but she literally wore this like probably almost every other day since we got this piece. We loved it so much that we ended up getting a second one in a different color because literally that's all she wears when we get her to go outside because everything else is just not warm enough. So yeah, these are really, really great. I definitely recommend them. And that is all I have for you guys today. These are all my favorites. Again, um, I would like to call myself minimalistic, but as you can see, even as a minimalist, you end up having a lot of stuff for the baby because the baby does need a lot of stuff, you know, from feeding to, well, feeding has been easy because I just, use my breast I don't really use she doesn't take pacifier she doesn't really drink from a bottle I'm thinking to start pumping um, but I haven't yet started that process so I can't really recommend anything in that department but everything else from washing to wearing you still end up with a lot of stuff this is basically everything we've been using and we didn't need any other things in the first few months of Alexa's life let me know how you enjoyed this video down below leave me a comment if somebody you know is having a baby make sure to share this video with them if you've enjoyed watching this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up it will totally make my day and i would also love to hear about your baby favorites if you have a baby or if you know somebody who's got a baby that you know about their favorites so make sure to leave me a comment down below i love you guys very very much and i'll see you in the next video lots of kisses bye